RC Guy Garage here, and we are back again at Diamond Dust. Diamond Dust has definitely changed. It's not as fun as it was before. It offers a little bit more speed style ripping, but as far as jumps go, there's nothing here. You may think like that's a whole bunch of jumps, but it's really not because of the terrain. There's not enough smoothness to get to those jumps. There's not enough smoothness to get to this jump, to maybe jump big black. Man, that's the negative sometimes about coming to an area like this that is being worked on. So anyways, this is RC Guy Garage, and we're gonna see what this Arma Vortex has to offer at Diamond Dust. So, the Arma Vortex, running on 3S. This is a brand new, no, never mind. This isn't the brand new pack. Wait a minute, where's the brand new pack? I've got brand new packs. Ah, that's right. So right here, Ovonic Air. These are 6,000 milliamp 3S 100C packs called their Rebel Series. So we are gonna be ripping these in the Arma Vortec, but I just wanted to rip this battery pack, which is a 7,600, 7,650 C pack. Again, Ovonic Air. This is, this is a high discharge pack, but those ones right there, those are the Rebel Series. So they're more designed to pump out that 100 C. So let's see what this thing has to offer. Last time I ran this, it didn't do very good. Probably looked, should have looked to see where the switch was. Yes. All right. See how this thing does. It is a little rocket. Kaiju would kill it, though. Oh, at least it's on its wheels. Woo. It's got a different kind of way of running, man. You know what I want to do? Before I get too far with this, pretty sure I've got my GPS with me. Yeah, right there. I'm gonna throw the GPS in it. I wanna see what this thing does for speed on dirt on 3S. I don't think this thing can run 4S, can it? Probably, I don't know. You know what you gotta do? First thing that I didn't do, drill out your body pins. Because when there's dust attached to them, like over here at Diamond Dust, whoa. Let's get this GPS in here. Uh, attach it right there. That should be fine. Be all right. All right, GPS. So, data analyzer, bam. So that should turn on. It should get all its satellites and everything pretty quick. We're in the wide open here. I should have brought a charger so I could have charged uh, the battery packs. See, I've got this thing, I wasn't thinking. I don't know why I didn't bring a charger. I brought this thing. 
See this thing right here, this is my, and it makes, makes no sense to have it. This thing right here, this is, um, this is actually from uh, Sky Intelligent. Yeah, I haven't even taken the plastic off yet. This thing is pretty sick. This is a um, solar charger. I've got a solar array for this thing. You can see this is literally like what, 99 hours left. I've literally been using this for everything related into truck. It has a wireless charger for the top. It has a car socket, two AC outlets. It has fast charging and it's got a solar input. So this thing is mint. The wireless charger part is pretty cool. The only thing about it is it's pretty slippery on the top. These little symbols right here, if they had some kind of like gripper, it would be cool. All right, let's see how we're looking here. So, Bluetooth, yep, connected. And we've got 11 satellites, good enough. See what we can get for a speed on this thing. You know what I'll do is I'll take it over there. I'll do a couple of rips here and I'll take it over that side. Come on. Drill out your body pins, man. Or drill out your body posts. You will thank me for telling you to do that. All right. All right, GPS, we're gonna do track and start, just to get a high speed. Oh, oh my God. Definitely handles different. The kaiju will eat this thing alive on handling. But I think this thing might have a top speed over the kaiju though. Went into overload, come on. All right, this thing is driving me nuts. It went into that thermal meltdown or whatever the heck is wrong with this thing. I hate that it does that, man. Well, let's see what we got for a speed anyway. Stop, read. High speed of 38. That's dumb, man. Big rock would kill this thing. And I got that. I can't, can't even get the body pins out. And I don't want to rip the tethers out. But yeah, the dust gets literally inside the pinholes, and you can hardly get these um, things out without breaking them. So it's blinking a red light. So what does that mean? <sighs> that means this is dumb. That's what that means. You know what I'm gonna do? Somebody had said that the reason why it's doing that is because I'm running a 50C pack. Okay, well let's throw in the 100C pack from uh, Ovonic Air. This thing is fully charged. So we'll see, is that really going to make a difference on this RC? Ripping the 100C pack versus a 50C pack. That, I think, is going to be a good test. Just 
just leave the wire flapping around, maybe. Because things, things are not hot. All right, 100C Ovonic Air Pack. See if it makes a difference. 38 miles an hour. Kaiju. Kaiju just is different on handling. And definitely drill out these body pins, man. These body pins are gonna drive me nuts. All right, moats on. We're gonna track, read. So you can see, it was 38. Right. Do the screen record. Oh, wait a minute. Cancel. Stop. Screen record. Media with sounds. Start recording. All right. So you can see, 38 miles an hour was what we got with the um, Arma Vortex. Time elapsed was minute and four seconds. <laughs> Average speed distance, 1,296 feet. So it went into a, whatever, a flashy light already? All right, I don't know. All right, so now we are running a Ovonic Rebel Series 6,000 milliamp 100C pack. Turn it on. Let's see if it makes a difference. All right, zero it out. <laughs> Landed on its wheels. It's definitely not a basher. That actually seemed pretty good. I can't even see it. Oh, it's facing me. That seemed like a pretty good rep. All right, Let's see what it did. Read. Oh no! Track. Start. Idiot. Try it again. Well, it seemed to go good. Probably can't count that, right? Oh, the wing got mangled! Oh, I blew out a screw? Oh my god! I blew out a screw! Come on! Are you serious? <laughs> A screw got blown out! Ah! <laughs> Alright. Uh, stop. Read. Went from 38 to 40. Two miles an hour faster. Let's try it again. Start. Two miles an hour faster in a 
Lost a screw. Ah! That's the thing about these goddamn vehicles. <laughs> those are probably just jumps to death right let me guess those are jumps to death <laughs> all right now try it again turn it around Yeah, this is a different kind of car, man. Man, the big rock is definitely way better. I should take the uh, ESC and stuff out of this thing, put it in the big rock. Jeez. <laughs> it kills its own body. Going right for that mountain, man. Look at that. Just bring it back and just see what I got for speed. <laughs> All right. Stop. Read. 43 miles an hour. All right. Well, good enough. I'm going to take the GPS out of there. Shut the GPS off for now. All right. Sky RC. Bummer about the stupid wing screw. Power it off. God, you end up. Like, seriously? <laughs> that is literally why you've got to drill these things out, man. All right. This Sky RC GPS thing, man, this thing is awesome. All right. No red flashing light. And you know what? We were ripping the crap out of it. So this might require a 100C pack. Well, wouldn't that be kind of a bummer, huh? Well, I mean, not really, because Ovonic Air's got you back now. Ovonic Air's got you back with the 100 C-Pack. <laughs> uh. Come on. I just have zero patience. I just want to rip. It's been just so long. I'm having a blast. I just miss jumps, man. Diamond Dust was known for jumps, not anymore. See, I can't even go up there. See all the ruts? Man, they ruined it. Oh, I've got it. 
Oh, I thought I had a tire ripped off. Oh, I was gonna say, that's it, man. See, I can't do anything up here. It just, it just doesn't work. Even a fifth scale would have a hard time with this crap. Yes, and even the infamous trash bag. What they did is they stopped that road from washing out. Or you see that big pile of dirt. There was a massive washout right there. So if that gate got closed, especially with big black, I wouldn't be able to get out. That was pretty cool. Whoa! Whoa! That was actually cool. All right, maybe I like this uh, vortex a little bit more now. Oh! There goes the wheel! Oh my god! Oh! There goes the wheel! Oh my god! <laughs> the car literally passed its own wheel! Oh no! Oh no! What are you? Oh. oh man, the bolt is still in there. Oh, that was awesome. You have to admit that was funny, right? Look at the wheel is sitting right here. <laughs> oh my god, that was insane! Ah. All it was was just the thread lock. Crap! Well, that's the end of that, because I don't have tools. <laughs> ah, anyways, this is RC Guy Garage, and we're out trying to rip the Vortex. Man, so this may be the reality. You really may need to run an Ovonic Air Rebel Series 100C pack with the EC5 connector in the arm of Vortex to not get that cut off, whatever the heck was going on. I was kind of in disbelief, but I guess that's what it needs. Especially when you're gonna be, oh, oh. Oh man, this thing suffered. Nasty tail landing. But anyways, this is probably the battery that you're gonna need when you're running your arm of Vortex on 3S. So far, I don't know what to tell you, man. I already know that these packs are gonna be awesome. I always run Ovonic Air packs, and I've been running the Ovonic Air series of packs for quite a while. So anyways, this is RC Guy Garage, and I'm out. What are you doing? Hopefully you're getting out there and just ripping it. You're next. <laughs>
the car literally passed its own wheel.